Stars coming to you from Las Vegas, Nevada with another video showcase of Hearts of the West. It's Western music, cowboy poetry, musicians, singers, and songwriters. And at the end, I have a new format. I have a little one-on-one -on -one where two of the performers answer a question for me. Now, you don't have to answer. You can opt out, but they, uh, the ones that do, they send me a little video clip of it, and I'm always very appreciative of it, okay? I think you're gonna enjoy it. Now, I usually start off with one of my own poems, but lately I've been deciding to share the talents that we have here. Now, I just uh, found this gentleman on Facebook and we hooked up. His name is Bryce Burnett, and he's got two books out, and uh, one of them is titled Homegrown and Other Poems. Now, I'm gonna recite you a little something out of here, if I can find something real. Oh, here we go, I like this. The Measure of a Man by Bryce Burnett. How is it that we measure a man, evaluate what his life is worth? How do we define success, how his life is valued from a humble birth? Do we measure a man by religious beliefs and by what his tongue does say? Maybe it's by his work ethics and how he spends his day. Do we measure a man by his apparel and the cut of the clothes he wears, or by the grudge he carries on his shoulders and the weight of the cross that he bears? Is success measured by the house he lives in or by the truck he drives, or is it by the label of the scotch he drinks, or that he's had five wives? Do we measure a man by the money he makes and how he flashes his diamond ring, or do we measure him by the size of his herd or the size of another thing. Yes, there's many a way to measure a man, and by the time on earth he does log, but to my way of thinking, a lot is revealed by the way that he treats his dog. Ah, good one, Bruce. Bryce, thank you. I'm sorry, Bryce Burnett. Thank you. That was a good one. I like that. Uh, I'm going to get around to reading these and sharing them with y'all. Okay, let's get to the showcase. And uh, I post on all social medias, and it's up there, the new showcase. A new one is posted every week. I put another new one up on Tuesday. And you know what, folks? I'll see you back here next Tuesday for another video showcase of Hearts of the West with Tootsie, of course, and her performance. Nelson with a little poem I wrote here a few months ago called Riding Old Bay. He flies through the air with the greatest of ease, this daring young man on his flying trapeze. But it wasn't a flying trapeze I'd been on. I'd been on a saddle and dang, it was gone. He's a big old bay horse with a head like a post, scars on his shoulders and eyes like a ghost skull close set and buggy and dark as the night. One look at that sucker, you know he ain't right. They said you can't ride him, it just can't be done as a tough bucking horse while he's second to none. He'll send you a flying up into the sky, send you to hell in the wink of an eye. He's mucho caballo, a bucking machine. He's not only fast, he's strong and he's mean. He's twisty, he's froggy, he's ugly as sin. He'll do somersaults and sit down in a spin. He's a man-eating gator, a tranny sore rex. He'll kick you, he'll bite you, he'll break your dang neck. He's a wolf stomping, sunfish and son of a gun. If I had to ride him, why, I'd up and run. The man that can ride him just hasn't been made. He hasn't growed up and his dues ain't been paid. He's still just a gleam in his old daddy's eye. You say you're that feller, I say it's a lie. Well, I look that horse over and I think that they're right. And I hadn't come down here to pick a big fight. And I should have known better and should have walked right away. But something inside said, come on, boy, let's play. So I slapped my cack on him and cinched her up tight. He never looked off to the left or the right. So I slipped the hack over his nose and his neck and 
proceeded to climb to the hurricane deck. Well, he shudders a little, then kind of squats down, and then I was left searching for adverb and noun to describe this old horse as he flew to the sky. I don't think I've ever been quite this damn high. That horse couldn't buck worth a nickel or dime, but he sure gave you ten dollars worth at a time. I had the same chance as a snowball in hell and was looking around for soft ground as I fell. And that's where that trapeze part starts to kick in because I did double flips and half gainers and then a beautiful swan dive from up 30 feet and crashed in a pile the hard ground to meet. And Old Bay walks away with a gleam in his eye. He knows he's the best boys and that ain't no lie. And I should have known better. I should not have tried to ride this bay devil just for my pride. Thank you. If I had the power to turn back the clock, to go back to that house, at the end of the block. The house that was home when I was a kid, I know I'd love it more or now than I did. If I could go back there at my mother's knee and hear once again all, all the things she told me, I'd listen as I never listened before, for she knew so well just what life had in store. And all the advice that my dad used to give his voice I'll remember as, as long as I live. But it didn't seem really important then what I'd give to live it all over again. And what I would give for that chance I once had to do so much more for my mother and dad. To give them more joy and a little less pain, a little more sunshine and a little less rain. But the years roll on and we cannot go back. Whether we were born in a, a mansion or a shack. But we can start right now, in the hour that's right, to do something more for the ones we hold dear. And since time in his flight is traveling so fast, let's not spend it regretting that which is past. But let's make tomorrow a happier day by doing our good unto others today. Okay, I am recording this phone call for uh, Heart to the West, man. Uh, I okay. Have new, I have a new format now. I don't put the tip of the hat on the end of the uh, showcase anymore. I ask the performers two questions. Uh, and the two questions are, what's your favorite movie quote? And the second question is, when did you know you could write and recite cowboy poetry? Hmm. My now, favorite. Oh, go ahead. You, do you need time to think about this? I can call you back tomorrow. No. Uh, there's so many good favorite no. movie quotes, and most all of them, of course, are by John Wayne. <laughs> okay. okay. And and be honest with you, maybe my favorite um, is at the end of True Grit when he goes and gets on his horse and goes and jumps it over that five rail fence and he says, "Well, come see a fat old man sometime." Oh, that's wow! That's because <laughs> it kind of fits. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah, man, that's that's. Great. Okay, very good. Love it. Love it. All right. And the second question, when did you know you could write and recite? How did you discover that? I'm not real sure that I'm, that I'm, I'm not real positive. I'm sure I can yet. Ah, uh, I knew you saw that. <laughs> no, uh, um, um. I always wanted to, but then my uh, Lori and I had just gotten together, and she signed me up for a, my favorite poem night on the local stage, and told me I had one day to get ready for it. All right. And All that's right. kind of when I figured it out. 
I love that. Okay, <laughs> very good. All right, all right. Well, uh, kudos to her. Thank you, because we're sure all enjoying that. All right, uh, thank you, Dwayne. I appreciate it. Now I got to... I got to get a hold of some other people, but um, I'll let you go. But thank you very much. Um, so this will be an audio, because I know the video is a challenge. It's a yep. challenge for a lot of people right now with the weather. Um, I had to... Uh... Oh. Um. 